practices in the open bay? Yeah, it's, well, here's what we got. Like, so today, um, a lot of, uh, kind of this, is, this was a bi-week practice. Working technique, working fundamentals, working whether it's offense, defense, kicking game, uh, uh, you know, cleaning up a couple little things here with the older guys, uh, resting a lot of older guys. You know, I, I look at our, you know, I, I kind of the three groups. There's the, the old guys that played a lot of football. They're going working some technique things and resting. The middle guys who play, get reps, but not tons, are getting reps to go work on getting ready for the game. And then young guys who might be redshirting, getting those prep reps, getting ready for bowl prep and then spring ball of next year, kind of a, a refresher couple days. Um, that was today. Tomorrow will be the same way. And then Thursday we'll get into game week preparation. How busy is that with staff, too? Because you're also still trying to get some work done on Missouri at the same time. Well, it is, and recruiting, you know, and, uh, and all that stuff. So uh, it is. We don't get, a, we don't get a, a, as much of a break, the players, but that's okay. The, uh, the players need more of a break than the coaches right there. We get our coaches plenty of rest. They get rest in the, the summertime. What's the, what's the schedule for the weekend? When you let the guys know? Uh, they're going to be off Friday, Saturday. You know, and uh, what we try to do with that is, okay, Thursday's a Monday, Friday's off, Saturday's off, Sunday's a Tuesday, Wednesday is a, or uh, Monday's a Wednesday, Tuesday's a Thursday, Wednesday's a Friday, and Thursday's a Saturday. <laughs> Got it? Uh, no, just to get the guys, you know, so there is like a full regular game week preparation. But, uh, you know, I want to give the guys an opportunity. It's been a long season so far. Uh, you know, instead of giving them the time off and then practicing Friday, Saturday, Sunday into game week right there, I want to give them the opportunity to go home and, uh, and, and take a little break and have, have a weekend off with no school as well. What has that kind of dealt with this year compared to last year? It doesn't seem like there's the, the media spotlight. You know, how, how does last year compare to this year in that sense where you can maybe be more of a, a quarterback and not a media celebrity? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think he handles it all really well. So... Whether it, you know, whether the, when the spotlight's on him for a couple times on big games and then it's not on him, I don't think it really affects him. Having gone through it all once, too, I think he's good with whatever. Uh, I do think, though, I mean, he's, you know, he, he, he's really grown. You just see, I mean, just his, his maturity level and his preparation, how he handles the game. I, he, he's, he's a much better player this year than he was last year, I think. And, uh, uh, you know, and so for him, uh, I think he probably would feel the same way that he's playing much better this year than he did last year. And he's seeing all the extra work and the time and just his continued development is the reason for that. Uh, not, uh, I don't know if it's less spotlight or any of that, it's just his continued work ethic and development that he, he realizes he's going to continue to get better. You mentioned that you would have liked to redshirt Darian Hutcherson last year. Yeah. How, how did he accept that? You know, what, what was his thought well, process? I think all that? the guys want to play. So because of injuries, he had the opportunity to get on the field and play some, and he did last year. And so, you know, I mean, I think he was great with that uh, opportunity. And, uh, you know, but I think now when you look at it, and I don't know, I mean, in talking to him, uh, as coaches, sometimes we visualize things a little differently because, you know, we're not looking always just today. We look, I'm looking long-term for everybody as well. So, you know, a lot of times when we redshirt guys, it's not maybe because of the situation today. It's what could be the situation in the future that could be really beneficial to them and the program. And I think the way you're watching him play now, he's starting to really uh, understand the offense, understand the speed of the game. He's, he's really making things happen. And I'm sure he'd love to have one more year on, to, to come back and play again and uh, you know, and play now at that high level as a veteran player. How different is evaluating a game with Dak now than it was a year ago when you're looking at so much different things that he does this year compared to previous years? Well, I think I think it's he understands what we're going to ask of him to do in different games, um, and Harrison is going to take what the defense gives. And and uh, you know, like I say, I don't think the game plan was any different Saturday night than other games uh, for us in a lot of ways. Statistically, it's like, oh, look what happened. But a lot of that's what they're doing too. Um, you know, and how the game's going and. and uh, you know, there are a couple situations for him that, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm missing one of his touchdown runs. I have the one right before the half where he took off where they had nobody in the middle of the field. And I have, oh, the option one. Okay, the first one. Yeah. Well, again, yeah, they all ran it back. He runs into the end zone. They all chase the back. He keeps it on the last touchdown and runs into the end zone. 
we spread the field. They all run out. He just runs it up the middle, you know, on touchdowns. So, boy, why did he have so many touchdown runs and runs in this game that he didn't have in other games? They weren't playing us that way in other games. And um, so I, I think, and, and I think he really gets that. I, you know, I don't think he's into, st- into the, the stats um, as much, you know, like, boy, I, I got to put up numbers. I don't think he really cares about that. He understands some games they're going to be bigger than others, and other games it might be smaller than others. And, uh, and, and I think as a leader, he gets that. 